they've been a lot more um, in the recent games. They've been they've been pressing a lot more, and there's been a bit more about them. So um, we had to try and right and um, prepare for them, and um, thankfully we did. And I think we we nullified their threats. So we I think um, inevitably we got the result. And nine points in three games and no goals conceded. Must no, yeah, that. yeah, it's a good um, statistic. Yeah, um, so yeah, but as as a whole, you know, we've. Um, We've set out to cl- get clean sheets and to get three against Shamrock Rovers and to score as we did. It was um, it's been good so far this season, yeah. And were you aware beforehand that St. Pat's were winning one 0 in Dundalk and at halftime as well? No, we honestly we didn't. We tried not to anyway. You know, we were saying before the game, John was saying, look, whatever happens, you know, because we knew it was an early kick off. We weren't going to look at that. We were just going to stay focused on no and then what we had to do. So we literally just got in when we got in the dressing room. The lads had a phone out and they said Dundalk last. So. You know, it's a po- positive, like. And a late goal evens things up to Dundalk one. Yeah, it does. You know, I think good teams do that. You know, you keep playing, you keep pressing, you keep. You put up there with three minutes left, and you know, sometimes when you're so tired, it's easy to just sit back and say, you know what, we will settle for it. But good teams kick on and they 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 see it out and they try and get a goal, and we did. So. Was there a bit of frustration frustration to, uh, creeping in at the end there when you just couldn't break them down? Yeah, there was. There was a few there. I thought we had one or two chances. I thought they were in. To be honest, like um, I think it was Collins' header, was it? Mm. Or yeah, yeah, I thought that was in. Then when that didn't go, you know, things you think things starting to kind of go against you. Like when we didn't look like scoring, but then um, th- yeah, you kind of get a bit frustrated. But thankfully, it worked out and got the three points. This is because you're right back in it now. Thank yeah, it does. We knew that. You know, it's, I think people are too quick to say, say, oh, you're out of it, or you're in it, or you're going to win the league, you're not going to win the league. You know, it's um. The running is crazy, like you know. I mean, in, in all all leagues, really, you know, the the pressure and every game is different, you know. So um, it's going well now for us so far, and it's, uh, it's after panning out nicely, and we've we've a good break now till our next game. So there's a few tired legs at the moment, so hopefully we can we can rest and recuperate and get ready for the next game. Last minute winners like this as well have an effect of kind of raising the team spirits as well, isn't it? Sorry. Last minute winners like this kind of raises the team. It does, yeah. You know, when you work so hard, you know, and. If you like when you're as tired as you are, and if you, if you don't get the result, you kind of it's not all for nothing, you know. But you just don't feel like it's the work you've done is justified. But when you get the three points like that, it's um it's a great reward. And the break will be obviously of benefit heading into the last six games. Yeah, huge benefit because um I think it's it's panned out perfectly now, you know, with the, with the win tonight and we we'll, because to be honest, there's a few tired legs around the place at the moment, you know, a few niggles here and there, so we can we can rest them now and get them. Uh, Get fellas back to full fitness and get the squad. Um, utilize the squad with the the friendly against Cove Rounders during the week. You now give fellas games, and um, so the break is only going to do us good. Garrett, how important was the win tonight, considering recent results? Just in terms of confidence, there was a huge amount of confidence out there from from all the lads tonight. It was it was interesting to see. Yeah, we knew we had to. That's it. If if we lost the game or you drew the game, you're kind of that's it. This gives you a bit of momentum and it gives you. A, you're upbeat now for the rest of the, the running, you know, so it's great now at the moment. How important was the crowd to the last minute? Yeah, brilliant, yeah, the crowd are unbelievable. You see there till the end, we're just under them in the, in the dressing room, you know, place is heaving, like, you know, it's great. It's great to be, be a part of it, you know, it's a privilege, to be honest. So, um, yeah, we're just thankful for it. Yeah, an absolutely fantastic result, I suppose. It's been a difficult three or four weeks. The confidence in the lads was down a little bit. I suppose someone took the criticism to heart and I told them you have to bounce back. It shows your character. You know, you get huge knocks in this game and you have to be able to, to override and come back stronger. And uh, and also I felt that maybe over the last couple of weeks we might have taken a right off the ball. You know, sometimes I keep saying to you, games that look easy are never easy. You know, people said I had enough points before the games, which is never the case. And... Um, I just said to the lads beforehand, we had a good chat before the match and at our team meeting and just said concentrate on tonight, give everything you have tonight and if it's good enough, well and good. And um, at half time, it was nil all, it was a difficult match, tough match. I thought we tried to play well. Obviously, uh, Pat has put a bit more intensity into Rovers and they're closing down earlier. But I thought in the first half, you know, we tried to play, but it was a, it was a tight match. There wasn't many chances. But at half time, we actually spoke about it and said, you know what, lads, just keep hold your concentration, keep going. It could be a night like Pat's. We could get a late winner. It was that type of match, and um, you know, it was it was probably the perfect time to score last kick of the match. And um, I suppose it didn't look that way. But I think in the second half, we actually took the game to Rovers. I thought we played quite well. Colin in the header was just by the post. Um, wasn't many chances, I'll admit, but at the same time, I thought the game was mainly played in their half in the second half, and um, 
you know, it was it was a sweet victory to us, and you know, I didn't realise the other result until they came off because I keep saying I don't want to know anyone else's game results until afterwards, and um, tend to hear that Pat's won. You know, I suppose it it it, it gives us, I suppose. Um, you know, a chance that we're, we're, we're still there and as was crucially from our point of view it puts us that step close to Europe And a clean sheet tonight again Absolutely and I suppose you know the, the lads at the back have got a bit of criticism you know for the goals we've conceded but I think you could see you know Dan and Darren were outstanding with Nulty and um, down the flanks you know Ross got an early booking you know we held his head he's held his composure and defended really well in the second half and then Johnny started tearing into the match and making the runs down and behind and causing them problems and it was part of the reason they, they dropped back so much and uh, which was, was fantastic and um, you know it was a real real hard game hard effort a lot of intensity, um, sometimes maybe not pleasing to the eye, but I think our supporters can see the passion shown by the guys and can see there was no quarter given and um, it was a really high energy sapping game and, you know, it was a it was a sweet victory. And the crowd were passionate as well, they showed their passion, didn't they? Well to be honest, with you, I, I think I think um I think this this team is a team sort of the team of the people. And that and what I mean by that is that I think we have galvanized a section of uh, City and county supporters are coming in, and we've we've built a strong, loyal following. And I think they can honestly see that these are a real, passionate team. They give everything they have, and they try their best. And that's all you can do. And I think there's sort of a good sort of um, boy between the supporters and the players. And I think in those matches later on, it is shown. And I think no doubt tonight, even though. It wasn't a classic. It was a very tough game. The noise levels were still fantastic. I think they sensed that maybe we could pull the game out of fire, and um, and we did. Is the break now coming at a wrong time for you, considering that dramatic late winner that will galvanise the team and raise the spirit? Well, you could say that when you win, that maybe the game you'd like to play in a few days' time. But personally, a bit like the mid-season break, I think it's a good break for us. Um, I've told the lads that you know we're back in Monday. We'll recharge next week. We have a friendly match against Cove on Wednesday for a lot of the lads who've been on the bench and that. And but crucially, I think for a lot of the guys who have played week in week out, it's no harm this week sort of to maybe step back, recharge and see. Because um, when we go back to the Limerick match, we end up playing two games in five days. You know, so even though you're off for the next 16 days, you end up playing two games in five days. So it's going to be come thick and fast to us again. But personally, I think it's good to get a break, and I think it's good for the guys to recharge themselves. Fitting that Dan got the winner, I suppose, been having come back from Rovers. Well, yeah, I wouldn't really, I would never really consider Dan a Rovers player. To be fair, <laughs> to be fair to Dan, you know, he, Dan, you know, Dan, Dan, since he's moved over here, has always been a strong Cork City man. He'd never have gone to Rovers only for that fiasco, that time we called him, whatever. And um, so, I think what was more appropriate was that, and he was saying after seemingly in the program, he'd written that he hadn't scored a goal all season, bar the cup game and. In times gone past, he was always good to get five or six goals throughout the season. So maybe it was ironic that the night he was in the programme that he scores his first league goal and to the final three points for us, you know. John, you commented on uh, Ross Gaynor's um, defensive performance, but he was also very good going forward as well and his delivery was excellent. You must be pleased to see that. Yeah, I suppose, look, Ross has been a brilliant guy to get in and I suppose when it didn't work out with Erla, you know, left back had been a problem for us and... Um, you know, Ross, when I rang Ross um, at the time where he was going to Sligo, he told me he just wanted to come down here. And he's been absolutely a brilliant person, fantastic character, and just walked in the door and literally, you'd swear he was around here for the last five or six years, the type of guy he is. But like the one thing he does have, he's a fantastic left foot. You know, sometimes people question, is he the greatest defender? He's done brilliant for us. You know, he's been left back against Derry clean sheet, left back against Pat's clean sheet, left back against Rovers clean sheet. He missed the cup game obviously because he was cupped out. He was suspended for uh, a match against Bray. So, like in, in in I think the last four matches, he's been left back when we've kept three clean sheets against three of the top teams. But the crucial thing for him is that he's a brilliant left foot and can get himself out of trouble. And crucially, going forward, you know, he whips in a fantastic ball. You know, and like if you look at the goal, he would put in a great ball. But also the one before the Collins one, you know, and he had another one then when Barry Murphy came in the back post and got a touch to it. So he, he whips really, really dangerous balls, and uh, you know, he's been he's been really fantastic for us.